to be able to perform the Charlier cut. So if you don't know how to do that, I will put a link to a tutorial on the screen so you can go learn that and come back to this video afterward. Alright, so to start off, you're going to get a pinky break underneath the top 5 to 7 cards. So once more, you start off with your pinky break, and then your thumb is going to contact this bottom left corner as your pinky contacts this top right corner as you lift the cards off the pack. Once you're in this position, you're going to come over with your pointer finger and contact this left edge to rotate the cards 360 degrees. Alright, so like I said, the cards are being held between your thumb and your pinky, and using your pointer finger, contact the edge and turn the cards around so that the backs are facing up once again. Once you've rotated the pack, you're going to take your pointer finger and you're going to move it from the bottom side of the cards to the top. So just like this, and once your finger is on top of the packet, you're going to push down slightly so that the cards are in the exact same position as they started. As these cards are rotating, you're going to simultaneously be performing the Charlier cut with your left hand. So once more from the beginning, you have the small packet of cards in your right hand and the remaining cards in your left hand. This packet is rotated as you perform the Charlier cut. And the moment this top packet clears the bottom packet, you're going to place this small packet of cards in between, just like this. Alright, so you now have two halves, and as the halves are closing with your thumb on top, you're going to place your pinky in between so that you now have a pinky break, just like this. Once you have your pinky break, the card should be held in a grip similar to this with your thumb on the left edge, your pointer on the top edge, and then your middle and your ring on the right edge, and you're going to switch to a grip that looks like this. So what's happening is you're taking your pointer finger and you're moving it to the bottom of the cards, just like this. You're not curling it, you're just placing it on the bottom face, and then you're going to take your middle finger and you're going to move it to the top right corner of the cards. Alright, so once more, you're holding the cards like this, your pointer finger moves to the bottom as your middle finger goes to the top right corner. And now you're ready to perform the molecule cut. To perform this cut, you're going to come up with your right hand and using your thumb and your middle finger, you're going to pick up the cards at the break which you had before. So just like this, your middle finger is going to go on the top edge and your thumb is going to go on the bottom edge as you maintain contact with your left middle finger. Just like this. Once here, you're going to come over with your right middle finger and split the upper packet into two by lifting up, just like this. So now the upper packet is being held between your right thumb and your right middle finger, the middle packet is being held between your right thumb and your left middle finger, and the bottom packet is being held in the original grip that you had before. Once the cards are in three packets, you're going to take your pointer finger, which is on the underside of the lower packet, and with your thumb in the top left corner, you're going to release your grip with your ring and your pinky as you push the cards up till they're perpendicular with your palm. Once you've done this, you're going to lower these two packets down into your palm as you close this packet on top. Now this middle packet is still being held between your thumb and your middle finger, so you're going to strip it out, turn it face up, and then turn it back face down on top of the pack. So now you should have a top packet, an outdrag middle packet, and then a bottom packet. To complete the move, you're going to take your right middle finger and you're going to contact the top left corner of the outdrag packet, and then using your left middle finger as a rotating point, you're going to strip the cards out until they are at a 90 degree angle. Once you're going to grab these cards with your right hand, with your middle finger, your ring, and your pinky on the left edge with your thumb on top, and then your pointer finger on the back, and you're going to let go with your thumb and push with your pointer finger as the cards are rolled back on top of the pack. So that was the tutorial, and thank you for watching.